Okay. So yesterday we multiplied like a monomial times a binomial or a trinomial or a polynomial, whatever. So uh, today we're now going to multiply binomial times a binomial or binomial times a trinomial. Um, and so what I'll do is I'm going to show you what my recommendation is, and then I'm going to show you how to do it quickly. All right. It'll be very simple. Three or four or five terms. Oh. Poly just means many terms. All right. So now here's what I want to do. I want everybody to write this down. Or you can just kind of watch for a second. All right. I always tell kids if I said to multiply 12 times 13, you do two times three is six, three times one is three, one times two is two, one times one is one, then you add. Okay. Guess what? We're doing the same thing. It just doesn't look like it. All right. We're doing the same thing. It just doesn't look like it. It's really simple. If there's a pattern to it. It's really simple. There's absolutely nothing to it. You just have to pay attention. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this out of the way now for a second. And we're going to come up here and I'm going to show you M plus four. Then you write right underneath it M plus one. Then you just multiply just like the old days. So you do positive one times positive four, which is positive four. Then you do positive one times positive M, and that's M. Then you do M times four, and M times four is positive four M. And then you do M times M, which is M squared. And then you add them together. So it becomes M squared plus five M plus four. That's how easy. All right. Now, one more time. Look up. Positive one times positive four gave me this positive four. Then I did positive one times M. That gave me this positive M. Then I did M times positive four, which gave me this positive four M. Then I did M times M and got M squared. And then I added them straight down. Is everybody with me on that? All right, so let's do number three. All right, let's do number three. All right, so here we go. Does it matter which one you put on the top or the bottom? No, thank you. All right, so now when I multiply, what's positive three times positive four? Well, positive four. Right, positive 12. What's four times B? Four B. Four B. What's B times positive three? And then what's B times B? Add them together. And there you have it. B squared plus seven B plus 12. What? No, if you put B plus four first, B plus three second, it wouldn't matter. You get the same answer. Two times three is the same as three times two. All right, here we go. Now a little bit harder because there's negatives. So I'm just gonna put R plus one times R minus two. What's negative two times positive one? Negative two. What's negative two times R? Negative two. R times one. Or just R, right? But I always like to tell kids, remember, it's a positive R. And then what's R times R? R squared. So now I have R squared. What's negative two plus one? Negative one. Right? and then minus two. That's how it works every time. That's your answer. Really, really, really simple. All right, try one more. Then I'm gonna show you maybe a shortcut. All right, here we go. Three C plus one C minus two. All right, I'm gonna give you 30 seconds to try to get what you think is the answer. Then you can see if you understand the pattern.
All right, here we go. Negative two times one. Negative two times three C. C times one. Now here I like to say it's positive C. And then what C times three C? Now we just add. So my final answer is. Yeah, but you put it in order. 3C squared minus 5C minus 2. Um, you always write in descending order. What I thought you meant was this. What I thought you meant was this. Does it matter what order you put them when you're multiplying? Okay. So yeah, put them in descending order or we say standard form. Anybody have any questions with that? All right, now, eventually, you'll just be able to look at number nine and you'll just say 5D squared minus 9D plus four without doing any work. All right, so I wanna show you how to do that now. All right, so everybody look up. All right, it's really easy, really easy pattern. All right, so this would be for kids who struggle. All right, this method right here. So if you're struggling, just write it out like that and do it the long way. I don't care, all right? But here, now let me show you something really important. So what's D times 5D? 5D squared. Now, do me a favor. We're gonna put two smiley faces in, all right? This middle one and this is what you're multiplying together. So put those two smiley faces in there. And the first one is negative 5D. And the second one is what? Negative 4D. And then you multiply the last two numbers together. And that's what? positive four okay look how easy that is the two numbers together negative one times negative four all right so now i have five d squared minus nine d plus four you always combine the two middle terms all right the two middle terms you'll be able to combine Everybody good with that? All right, here we go. Number 11. Okay, so here we go. What's 3n times n? 3n squared. Smiley face number one, how much is that? Negative 7n. Smiley face number two is how much? Positive 9n. And the number is? Negative 21. Guys, it's really simple. Okay, so now combine the middle term. 3n squared what? Plus 2n. Then what? Minus 21. Simple. Here we go, 13. What's 3B times 3B? 9B squared. How much is this? Positive 9B. Big smiley face. Minus 6B. And finally, minus 6. And once again, these two, you just combine. <clears throat> so help me. Minus 3B? Plus 3B, and then what? Minus 6. Come on, hurry up. The two smiley faces, right? Here is 9. Here is negative 6. That's it. Well, I'm not going to get a
I don't care how you do. All right, here we go. Let's knock out 15. All right, give you 30 seconds. Let's see if you can do it. Let's see if you get it right. Should be getting faster as you go down the page. And don't wait for me. You know what I mean? Get your work done. All right. If you get 15, go to 17. What is it? Um, Very easy. Good job, girl. Very good. Anybody have any issues? Anybody have any issues? Nobody? All right. Let's knock out 17. Stay with it. Don't be lazy because 19 is a little bit harder. Tell me. Mm -mm. What's 4H times 4H? Yeah, you forgot to do that one. 16 H squared. How much? Minus eight. And then? Minus four H plus two. And that's it. Final answer. 16H squared minus 12H plus 2. Negative times a negative. You with me on that? That's what I'm saying. You just have to be careful. Just have to be careful. All right. Now, this is called a binomial times a trinomial. All right. So, in my opinion, this is how I would do it. All right. I just do it like a regular multiplication problem w squared plus 3w minus 6 w plus four. There really isn't a shortcut to this one. All right, so this times this is what? Negative 24. Then you do four times positive three W. Then four times W squared. Now, remember when you multiplied, you always put a zero here. Of course, we don't have to do that anymore because we're smart. We just go, what's W times negative six? And we put it right with the Ws. And then what's W times three W? Positive three W squared. And what's W times W squared? Exactly. And now you just add them straight down. What do we got? Right, because when you add, they don't change. Yeah. And then it becomes six w. Right. And then seventeen. That's how easy. Simple, simple, simple. All right. So here we go. Everybody, try twenty-one now, all on your own. And then look up and see if you got it right.
you do. Good. All right. Easy. You know how to do them all. Anybody have any look up now as soon as you get done with your work? Bless you, bless you. Let's see how we're doing. Anybody? Anybody have any problems? Does everybody agree it's simple? Any questions? All right, let's do another one. All right, just to make sure. What? It's just got two variables. All right. So I'm happy with you on that. Let's go ahead and look at 18. She's right. I wasn't listening to you. X minus Y times 2X minus Y. Now you just have to be careful. All right, look at that. What's negative Y times negative Y? Positive Y squared. And then negative Y times X. Negative XY. Now, 2x times negative y, negative 2xy, and then 2x times x, 2x squared. Draw a line underneath, and you can say 2x squared minus 3xy plus y squared. All right, that's the long way. All right, if you're just like, want a consistent way to make sure you're right that's a good way to do that yeah now we're going to do the short way what's x times 2x 2x squared first smiley face now we write alphabetical order so that would be a negative 2xy now another smiley face that's what? Negative xy. And now we do negative y times negative y. Positive y squared. Everybody agree with that? So now, 2x squared. The two in the middle always go together. Minus 3xy plus y squared. Are we good on that? Mm -hmm. All right, that was good, thank you. Now what I wanna do is I wanna do another one like that just to make sure. Let's do 32. 32, everybody look at 32. <clears throat> okay, 4G times 2G, somebody tell me. 8G squared. First smiley face. A, B, C, D, e, F, G, right? So six, G, H. Then the big smiley face, how much is that? Plus 12, G, H. These two multiplied together. Three H times three H. 9h squared, 9h squared. So now remember the two in the middle will always add together. So 8g squared plus what? Plus what? 18gh plus 9h squared. I'm pretty happy with that. Now, every day I sit here and say, you know whether or not you can do it. Because you've been doing them now. All right, all you got to do is say, man, I'm a little confused. And I would show you, I'd go slow, or I'd show you a different method, or I'd do something to try to help you. All right, I've said, is it easy? Everybody says, yeah, it's easy. All right. So 
let's do uh, 36. Now let's do a shortcut for 36. All right, let me show you what I want you to do. All right, everybody pay attention now. This will be helpful. 3D times 2D squared is what? I know, 6D cubed, very good. Now, you just, just keep distributing. 3D times positive 5D, what's that? Positive 15D squared. I continue, 3D times negative two, what's that? Negative 6D, come on, you can do this. Now I have to just distribute the what? The three, you're distributing twice. So help me out, what's three times 2D squared? Notice where I'm putting it, plus, 6D squared. Might as well put the squares with the squares. Now, three times positive 5D, positive 15D. Notice it's lining up. And now three times negative two, negative six. And now everything's lined up beautifully, line underneath. 6D cubed plus what? 21D squared plus 9D minus 6. Nothing to it, man. Nothing to it. All right. Let's find the area of this triangle. What's the formula for area of a triangle? Uh, Don't forget the one half, right? So area, everybody puts down one half. What's the base? And what's the height? Thank you. Now, if I'm multiplying, do I take half of both or just take half of one? Half of one of them. All right, half of one. So now let's see if we're good. What's half of four X plus two? Two X plus one, very nice. So now I'm just multiplying two X plus one times two X minus two. So here we go. Two X times two X. Four X squared. Smiley face, first one, positive 2x. Second smiley face, negative 4x. And last, minus 2. Thank you very much. Combine the middle terms. That's right. Very nice. Easy, easy, easy. Yeah, we're going to do the trapezoid. All right, now I don't expect you to remember the formula for every trapezoid from last year, but area equals one half, parentheses, base one plus base two times the height. That was the formula. All right, now come on, someone be smart and tell me mental math, adding the bases, add the bases. Somebody tell me what that is when I add the bases. 8x what? Exactly. Everybody should be able to do that. And I'm gonna put 8x minus two. And then what's the height? Now, if you don't know how I got 8x minus 2, you can just say, hey, I just don't see that. Anybody have any? Because this is a base and this is a base. You just added them up. Very nice. Now, which one should I take half of? Yeah, 8x minus 2 because you can divide by 2. So if I take half of that, that becomes what? 4x minus 1. 
times x plus one. All right, now let's multiply. Good job. Keep going. That's right. What kind of 4x though? Yep. And then what? Look how easy that is. So my area is? Exactly. Easy, 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 easy. What? What's the problem? I don't get where you got the. Oh, 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 good, good, good. I like when you figure it out on your own. All right, let's try an even integer. So X is an even integer. Who can tell me what the next even integer is going to be? Yes, x plus two is the next one. What's the one after x plus two? X plus four, thank you very much. So now we are just multiplying x plus two times x plus four. That's what we're multiplying. That wasn't bad. So everybody multiply that out, please. And tell me the answer. X squared plus two X plus eight. You're right. X squared plus two X plus four X plus eight. And then you're right. Tell me, go ahead. X squared plus Yep. Right, that's easy. It's just a pattern. All right, it's just an easy, simple pattern. I don't know why this is a problem for people. Easy, easy, easy. All right. Now, um, I don't care about 46. We're going to skip that one since you guys did so great. Okay. Now, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you something. What, what time's the bell ring here, guys? How much? 10 minutes. So I think it would be fair if you just killed the last 10 minutes and do 23 through 35. Now, 23 through 35 odds. All right, that, that's good enough. I'm totally fine. You guys have been great. I'm feeling like you understand. Now, I keep trying to tell you, if you're having any trouble at all, why is there a whole bunch of problems? Keep practicing. All right, keep practicing. All right, so I want 23 through 35. What do you mean? Yeah, yeah. If you want, that's you can do that. Six a times seven a. Six a times negative four. Negative three times that. Neg that's another way to do it. Yeah. You find a nice way that you like. All right. Find a nice way that you like. All right. Now, my homeschool peeps. Hopefully, you guys are good. Um, I feel like it's pretty easy. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to end our meeting unless you guys have any questions. I appreciate it. And I'm going to post this um, just in case anybody has any questions. Ashley, you okay? David, you okay? Yep. All right. I'm good. All right. I appreciate you guys. Now, um, have you guys... Have you guys taken the test yet? The last test, Ashley. I yeah. have. And you did you, David? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. I appreciate you guys very much. Hopefully, you guys staying healthy, and hopefully, I'll see you guys soon. Okay. Okay. Have a great see weekend, you. guys. You too, bye. All right. Bye bye.